I told you last week about Brenda Ingram, who struggled to get her benefits from the Virginia Employment Commission was made a whole lot worse when she got hit with a thousand dollar tax bill on the benefits someone else had stolen. Her story hit a nerve, though. More than a half dozen people have contacted us saying they, too, just got a tax form showing benefits they never got. That includes a grocery store employee from Hopewell. I'd like to get this resolved. You know, so I don't have to pay the taxes on it. John Lauder has been working steadily in the grocery business for years, including all through the pandemic. That's why he was shocked recently to get a tax document in the mail from the Virginia Employment Commission that puts him on the hook for hundreds of dollars. It was probably three, four months ago. I got a way to go card in the mail. And I remember what it was from when I was on unemployment before. But I had no reason to get one because, you know, I've been working all through the pandemic and everything. So, you know. I sit there and went on their website, filled out a fraud form, and just never heard nothing back from them. So I just assumed, you know, it was just a mistake. But the Hopewell man said his quick actions in contacting the VEC to fix a potential problem clearly wasn't enough to head off trouble. When I got a 1099 in the mail saying they had paid me benefits and I hadn't got any benefits. So once again, Louder went back to the phone, trying repeatedly, desperately to reach the VEC before tax day. Well, I've uh, tried to contact them, you know, the Virginia Employment Commission a couple of times. You know, I've left them voicemails. I've called. And they keep saying we have a 30-second hold time. And then you're literally, I waited 30 minutes, you know. And it says, you know, somebody be with you in 30 seconds, but they never answer in 30 seconds. And... So I'm just hoping I can get it solved before April 15th. Louder says because the VEC's fraud hotline didn't seem to be working for him, he contacted CBS 6. He says while the tax on $1,000 of benefits might not seem like much, he definitely doesn't want to pay something he doesn't owe on benefits someone else stole. Yeah, I mean, it's just worried. I'm just, you know, glad they didn't do anything that affected my credit or anything, you know. And I don't know why they didn't get more money. Joyce Fogg, the spokesperson of the VEC, says the VEC expects more requests for amended 1099. She says anyone getting that 1099 tax form from the VEC for benefits they didn't get has to file a fraud report with the VEC, request an amended 1099 form, and maybe even file an identity theft alert with the Attorney General's office. I put all those links with John Louder's story on our website at WTBR.com. As far as updates, neither Ty Jackson from two weeks ago nor Brenda from last week has been able to resolve their fraud claims.